Last month, Arizona passed a very controversial law regarding immigration. It sparked a nationwide debate, protests on both sides. In the midst of all of the controversy, the question really that needs to be asked is, where does God stand on this issue? What is a Christian's position on the Arizona immigration law, or immigration in, 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 in period? What is a Christian's position supposed to be? We're going to talk about that today on this edition of Live Prayer. What problems are you dealing with in your life right now? Do you feel like giving up? Times are hard and you're not strong. Well, I know the answer for you. And it will lead to the truth. Don't look back to yesterday. Now there are answers. Welcome to Live Prayer. It's waiting there for you. Here's your host, Bill Kelly. You can make it through. There is a hope for you. And welcome to Live Prayer. I'm Bill Keller. It's good to have you with me on this Thursday morning. Glad you tuned in. Of course, we're here on my TV 8 every Monday through Friday, 7 to 7.30. Thank you so much for being with me today. As today, we're going to take a look at a Christian's response to the immigration issue. Of course, the new law in Arizona sparked national debate on this whole issue. It's a, a topic that has been debated in the, in the various halls of Congress for years now with no real clear resolution. So today I want to tackle this issue from the standpoint of where should a Christian come down on this whole issue of immigration. We're going to look at that today. Thanks again for tuning in. I am Bill Keller, founder of LivePrayer.com, the world's largest interactive Christian website. We reach a little over 2.4 million people every day via the Internet. I'd encourage you to check us out at LivePrayer.com. The web address is on the screen. Lots of unique content that changes daily you'll never find on any other website. Uh, when you get to the website, please click on the, to, on the devotional sign-up link. There's a box that will appear. You put your email address in there, and then my daily devotional that I've written every day for nearly 11 years will come in your email box right bright and early so you can start your day. As we discussed yesterday about the horoscopes and the psychics, and the don't start your day with a cup of coffee and a horoscope. God says stay away from that stuff. Instead, I've got a better alternative. Start your day with a cup of coffee and the live prayer daily devotional. Deal with all the hard issues of life, all the controversial issues out in the marketplace on a daily basis. The same things you're going to hear about on O'Reilly Factor and Hannity and all these other talk shows, Rush and, and Beck. But the difference is you're not going to get it from a political perspective, but from a biblical perspective. And that's the unique thing about this program. It's unlike any program that's on anywhere in the nation. Trust me, the Christian networks, I would never go on Christian TV for the simple fact that I'm not here to preach to the choir. I'm not here just to create a, a vehicle to raise money so I can buy a new Gulf Stream. That's not my goal and that's not my desire. But the Christian networks wouldn't want me anyway because I'm too truthful about what's going on in the world and they don't want people upset because people upset don't give money. You understand that? And, of course, the secular networks, they'll put on every satanically inspired thing known to man, yet let a man come on and simply talk from the Bible and they don't want anything to do with that. But fortunately, we've got some stations like MyTV8 and others around the nation that uh, are open to putting us on, and we appreciate that. It allows us to get this message out there. You know, I've never been one to censor anybody. You know, they've got programming on the major networks in the middle of prime time that disgusts me. Men kissing men. Uh, every kind of debauchery known to man is glorified. I don't sit up and say, take that off the air. No. Let it be on. If that's what they want to put on, let them put it on. All I ask is for an equal chance to share my message. If they want to share their message straight from the pits of hell, that's fine. I just want the opportunity to be able to share my message from the throne room of God to give people an opportunity to make a clear choice. Because 
Trust me, right now, because you've got so many gutless pastors out there, so many ministries more worried about building mansions than building people of God who won't go on secular TV, so the message of Satan goes unopposed. That's why I'm on secular TV. That's why I'm on secular radio. That's why we're on the Internet geared to unsaved people. So people at least hear the other side. Gives them a chance to at least make a decision. The better percentage of two full generations now have never even been to church. These people have never heard the things I talk about. Forty years ago, nobody would have really given much, you know, been too upset by about what I say. Because most people, even those who denied, didn't believe in God or didn't believe in the Bible, at least understood biblical truth. And it would, there, was a, there was a standard that people lived by. Now that standard's been wiped away. And in just one short generation, people don't even know who God is. People have nothing, no knowledge of the Bible, don't want anything to do with it. And they've never even heard the basic truths of the Bible. Subsequently, somebody like me comes on a, a network like this to share these messages, and all of a sudden I'm labeled controversial. <laughs> well, listen, my friend, I'm here because I love you and I care about you. And you can do me a favor by letting everyone you know uh, tell them about this program because people need to hear the truth, truth they're not going to hear anywhere else. And there are lost people out there that if they die without Jesus, they're going to go to hell. That's reality. This is their opportunity to hear the truth, to find faith in Christ, to have their souls saved. Now, we've got a great topic today as we get into this whole immigration issue. And I've told you often, the Bible's the inspired and errant word of God. It represents absolute truth. It's our final authority in all matters. So rather than looking at this immigration issue from a political viewpoint, as everybody else does, we're going to look at it from a biblical viewpoint. It's a message you need to hear. I've got a short commercial break coming up, and when I come back, we're going to go headlong into this whole immigration issue, not from a political standpoint, but from a biblical standpoint. Now, you can be part of this great movement to turn this nation back to God and biblical truth. One way you can help is by donating your old gold and jewelry to goldforsouls.com. Goldforsouls.com was set up to make it easy for people like you to give to support this great effort. It works much like the other popular sites where you can send in your old gold and jewelry, except instead of getting a check back for a fraction of the value of the items you send in, we will send you a donation receipt for the fair market value of your jewelry. For example, if you send one of these many popular companies $100 worth of jewelry, you'll get back a check for around $10. By donating your valuables to goldforsouls.com, we will send you a donation receipt that you can write off your taxes for the full $100. What you donate to goldforsouls.com will not only get you a tax-deductible donation receipt for the fair market value of your gold and jewelry, but it will pay you eternal dividends since the funds will be used to help lead this nation back to God and biblical truth and the souls of men to faith in Jesus Christ. To take your stand for Christ and help lead this nation back to God and His truth, please go to www.goldforsouls.com. That's G-O-L-D-F-O-R-S-O-U-L-S www.goldforsouls.com and follow the easy instructions. Or you can call 1-877-654-1141 and request your Gold for Souls shipping pack to use your old gold and jewelry to save souls and help lead our nation back to God and biblical truth. Again, please go to www.goldforsouls.com and follow the easy instructions, or you can call toll-free 1-877-654-1141 and request your Gold for Souls shipping pack. Our nation is in spiritual freefall. God's wrath and judgment for our sins and wickedness is imminent. The only answer for this nation is to turn back to God and biblical truth. You can be part of this great movement by taking your old gold and jewelry to save souls and help lead our nation back to God and His truth. Go now to www.goldforsouls.com and follow the easy instructions or call toll-free 1-877-654-1141 and request your Gold for Souls shipping pack. Thank you for taking your stand to see our nation turn back to God, biblical truth, and souls won for Jesus Christ. May God's richest blessing.